All right. All right, chat, let's talk about the skill tree because skill tree is pretty interesting. It's not bad. So for main class, it's a bit weird. Basically, we were taking everything, uh, looking at skills like Gunblade Focus, um, Reset and all of those. All of these skills were actually worth point for point. Uh, up to the final point at the very least, basically from start all the way to final point. Some of them were a bit weird. For example, I believe Amplifier Focus uh, at four points was uh, 185%, but the fifth point is what put it at 200%. So that one wasn't too bad. But essentially for main class skills, we took everything across the board to start with. Where things got a bit strange was with these crit skills. So the crit hit PP gain is actually dope because at max it gives you a 100% probability, meaning you will always, oh, let me get rid of chat is currently in the way, but you will always get PP back for every single crit. Uh, for main class, it's four. For subclass, it's two. That's actually not that bad. So I think that's pretty dope. Um, a lot of these other skills are just increasing damage and giving the ability to use certain things. So charge blade, short range hot shot, slug shot, relentless blade, relentless blade, reinforce. All these are fantastic. Um, for main class, there was nothing I found specifically that felt like you really didn't want to take it because like the point acclimation wasn't worth it until we got to critical hit rate up and uh, gallant attack crit up. So gallant attack crit up is just attack crit. Uh, I'm sorry, is crit yeah, is crit chance when attacking a boss. The first four levels gives you one percent per level. So we were getting one percent per level at one. It was one all the way up to four, and then watch what happens when we go past four. It just crawls down. So after four, five is only 0.2%. Six is another 0.2%. Seven is another 0.2%. Eight is another 0.2%. Nine is 0.1%. And 10 is 0.1%. So it stopped it at five, meaning that this skill is horrifically front loaded when it comes to actual points being useful, point per or uh, value per point, essentially. So we only put four points in here because it gave us 4%. It was solid. Same thing happened a lot with the critical hit rate up skill. It mostly stayed pretty level all the way until about 10 points. After 10 points, again, 0 0.2, 0 0.2, 0 0.2, 0 0.2. So it went back down to a crawl. Now, ideally, I would like to have this at 10. However, the points just don't add up to have enough points to be able to do that. And I didn't want to take out anything from anywhere else. If I was going to get an extra point in here, I'd be dropping a point from uh, something like focus gauge amplifier and honestly getting your focus gauge back up to max is I think more important than getting 0.25% crit chance to be honest. This is a very very low on the totem pole of like useful points. Definitely a dump skill. So my recommendation is basically a point in everything. Max out the five point skills. If you're going to drop a point from any of these skills, maybe a point from here, maybe a point from reset PP gain. Realistically you don't want that to happen too often so I wouldn't worry too much about that. Um... I wouldn't drop any points from here personally. That's just me. It doesn't reduce the cooldown, but it does reduce the gauge accumulation rate. So I wouldn't drop a point from here if it were me. Um, however, of course, after some more testing, I'm sure people are going to have more valuable, like this point is only going to give you this much under these circumstances, so it may not be worth it. Just you know, day one, what looks like it's useful for points, this kind of feels like the best choice right now. Um, for subclass skills, uh, basically max out everything. The only thing you don't have enough points for for subclass is Gunblade Focus, um, Reset Gain, and that's about it. Realistically, you're not using this subclass to use Gunblade. Um, it's not really fantastic uh, to use Gunblade. I mean, Gunblade's still pretty dope. I'm not sure how it matches up against other weapons, like under specific circumstances. We haven't had enough time to test it. Servers have only been live for about three and a half hours at this point. So, realistically, it's possible that it could be good uh, under certain circumstances, but as far as the skill tree goes, I would just put everything into crit chance. It's not a lot of crit chance. Keep in mind, there's only 2% here and 3% here. That's 5% total crit chance that you're going to gain on uh, on subclass. But you are still getting two, po or 2 PP back every single time you crit at least once per second, which I think is fantastic personally. Um, and then this 5% while feels low, realistically, you're not getting much from any other subclass. Like... Yep, this is giving you Photon Blast gauge accumulation, but if you're not getting it fast enough uh, during its reset time frame, then really doesn't matter. 
uh force is is pp reduction or is um pp recovery memes don't really need it anymore with things like christia um as well as getting crit chance now under slayer is giving us back pp as well so when we crit we get back pp as well so that's super dope wicker isn't really used as a subclass braver again is for fake katana play um i mean really there's nothing else fighter gives us what five percent down yeah fizz elemental down or fizz down is five percent elemental down is five percent and then pp recovery is 40 percent so realistically it's not that much better than what we have access to i would rather take the crit chance because crit chance is going to end up being stronger all the way across the board um but that's really about it when it comes to slayer subclass the actual skill tree itself it's pretty dope i think it's gonna like i don't say it's gonna shake up the meta to the point where it's gonna be the definitive choice for every class but for classes that like are kind of in the situation of nothing specialized so for example something like uh like fighter or say um bouncer or braver where we're not tied to a specific subclass because of some use of a specific weapon i guess braver is tied to bouncer because of uh as a fanatic blade encore jump but uh you know hunter isn't really tied to anything specifically ranger isn't specifically tied to anything gunner is tied to ranger unfortunately force may end up going the route of uh of bouncer because of skill tree shenanigans tector may end up going the route of bouncer because of skill tree shenanigans or even because of uh, jet boots um it just depends realistically on those situations themselves river's looking pretty dope or i'm sorry um slayer's looking pretty dope and i'm having a lot of fun with it but uh, I just want to get my thoughts out really quick and give you guys a skill tree. Again, we'll go over it really fast. Main class, take everything, 9 and 4 on these two skills. Subclass, take everything, only go down to 4 here, and anything else that's Gunblade only is fine. Realistically, you want to have points in that way you're getting the battle power. You're getting the BP from the class itself. Uh, unused points gives you or uh, reduces your BP, so you definitely want to go ahead and make sure you're pressing these skills. Anyway, uh, that's about it. I'm going to go back to streaming because I'm having a good time playing this class. Anyway guys, take care.